wind's just died down after this big squall that's come through, it was blowing 30 knots. But now it's still, the palm trees aren't even moving. The skipper's just rocked up, picking us up. We're heading east. Well done, mate. First time trout. That's just how you like them, I've heard. PB dive, 29 meters and get a load of this fish here. Hey! Beautiful cold trout. So I saw a doggy down there that was only a little bit longer than this guy. Just diving, diving, diving. Comfy now, day three of diving. Did you feel good on that dog? Yeah, it felt like this weird squeeze in my chest, then the line go tight and I was like, oh, I'm at the end of it, it must be deep. And then uh, this guy wanted to say hello and the doggy didn't, so I didn't want to turn him down. Well done, mate. Beautiful fish. Coming back in from yet another cracker day on the water, second last day here um, of our time on the Back to Basics Pacific Island tour. I've got one of my main girls here, Angelique. Angelique, how are you feeling today? Good. Did uh, you... boys got many fish for You're dinner? Pretty happy with the fish? Yes, what very you... grateful. You got one there? Yes, good up. one here. Yeah. Coral trout, <laughs> fresh from the islands. We're going to be having some number one tucker tonight. Check out John Lynn. He's got a good little fish here. Hold up your fish, John Lynn. Hold him up. Yes. Number one, Angelique, you happy? Yes. John Lynn. John Lynn. John Lynn Jr. with the biggest fish. Awesome. Look at how we've been greeted for our final full day out on the water here on this trip. <laughs> what an absolute pleasure. <laughs> yeah. With dog tooth tuna being top of the priority list, we headed out, found some blue water, and the boys got straight into the action. The water was 30 metres viz, crystal clean, and it was one of the last drifts on the last day. Dr. Russ took a dive after seeing what looked like a good doggy coming in and out at the bottom of the flasher. He's at about 28 metres now. I can see that he's lining up the fish. The float line's just about bottomed out there. I'm trying to feed it and give him a bit more. And he's taking the shot. I'm there fighting the fish. I'm giving Simo the instruction to keep an eye on him. Teamwork at this point in time is crucial. Hey Simon, have eyes on him. Have eyes on him. Dogtooth's taking a run, and the float line goes mental, and that's when we know this is a serious fish. It rips down one of the floats, and I'm there trying to get it to the surface and turn it, keep it off the reef, keep it out of grasp of the shark's jaws as much as I can. Dr. Russ, he's hit the surface by now. It's really quite hard to exaggerate how hard these fish fight pound to pound. They're just ruthless. Dr. Russ is on it, hand over hand meets up with me and we fight this fish to the surface. We finally get a decent look at this impressive fish. Sharks were hounding it, we got it to the top. And the stoke was more than you could ever imagine. What a beautiful fish. This is what it's all about. It was like each one of us had got that fish. Teamwork truly does make the dream work. 
just got out of the water after an absolute mayhem of a drift. It's about the fourth drift. We hadn't been seeing any dog tooth, just a lot of wahoo that was sticking out of range. And it's really, really clean water. Anyway, we looked down, coming through the, the burley, giving a nudge to the flasher. Beautiful big white dot, gnarly dog tooth tuna. Dr. Russ here has made a drop, very patient one of that, just a couple of minute dive. Played the game, played the game, waited for the right shot, and his patience has rewarded him. With this beautiful dog tooth tuna! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, mate! Bang, bang! Serious teamwork in one of these fish. Well done, mother. Virgin, mate. <laughs> Too much stoke, buddy. Sunset stoke, boys! Now this here, it's got to be one of the favourite parts of the day. Oh, coming back in, sun setting. Beautiful little secluded bay here. And you got half the village here waiting for us, a couple of horses. And we are hoping they love the fish that we've got from the Sarve. From the reef. Wow. The boys will be cooking that up tonight. Beautiful big reef fish. <laughs> yeah, see you again. Thank you. See you. Straight. And that wraps up our six part series in Vanuatu. Now, after a month overseas, living the dream, what have I learnt? I learnt that there is no better time to go on an adventure like this than right now. If you're thinking about it, just book it. I've never in my life met someone that has regretted taking a week, taking two weeks off, and going and booking on one of these trips. So, whether it's with us or not, it's not really too important. but. Um, book that trip you've always wanted to do. Bit of a recap, episode one took us up to a super remote part of Vanuatu. We set up on an island and really got back to basics. This setup here reminded me of growing up in Papua New Guinea. It's final frontier kind of stuff. Collecting fruit and nuts off the trees, hunting wild boars, um, spear fishing for your taco. This is really, really good clean living. Episode two, now they reckon life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I've never been quite sure where that end of my comfort zone is, but Tell you what, one way to find out is get mobbed by um, a tribe of villagers with machetes, bow and arrows and spears staunching up at you. You pretty quickly realise where it is and, and you can pull it back a little bit from there. So that was episode two, check that one out. That was one of the most incredible experiences of our life, full stop. Episode three then was blue water spearing with, with myself and a couple of best mates um, in a part of the world that we've wanted to get to for ages. Blue water spearing, chasing dog tooth tuna, wahoo, green jobby, good times. There's shotguns, there's machetes, there's all sorts of laughs in this one, so check that one out. Episode four then kicks off the B2B Pacific tours. We're joined by a bunch of legends from Australia. They meet us over there in Vanuatu and we kick off our B2B Pacific tour. Spearing and exploring some epic culture and parts of the country and boys land some really fish of a lifetime here. Episode five and six then had to be split into two parts because there was just so much action on the second week of our B2B Pacific tours. Um, these are wild, these are really wild. Check them out. If you do want to be a part of this experience next year, we're just finalizing dates now. Send us an email, get on our website, Instagram, all that other nonsense. Um, just hassle us, we'll get you on board the next trip. It's really gonna be wild. We've got the fishing spot sorted, we've got the boat, we've got logistics. The doggies are there waiting with your name on it. 2020 is gonna be bigger and better than ever. So book on now, let's get over there for the trip of a lifetime. We'll see you there.